Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. Yeah, so today I'm going to um, show you how to extract key file and certificate file from your PFX format certificates. Um, so when you generate your certificate and uh, with private key, sometimes you need to extract the private key out of your certificate file. Normally the P PFX format uh, file is a combination of your key and the certificates. So now today using OpenSSL inside the Linux, I'm going to extract my key file and uh, also the cert file. Um, with the help of OpenSSL, as I said. So if you look over here, I have a, a certificate which I have generated. Um, it's called just tech.pfx. So now, first of all, I'll extract the key file. You can make a single command to extract your key and certificate together, but I'm going to segregate them so that you understand what step is for what purpose. Open SSL, and then I would write PKCS, uh, PKCS12. Uh, and now I have to provide the file name which I want um, to use to extract the key file and then I'll say no search and then I am going to say hyphen out and I have to write just type dot key uh, this is the name of the certificate which uh, key file which I'm going to keep uh, after extracting it now because my pfx file uh, contains password um, when you are extracting the key file you have to set up the password to i uh, it would ask me to enter the passcode for the same uh, let's see if i have made a slight mistake in this command uh, open ssl pkcs12 ah so i missed the hyphen over here so if you see now I have to enter the password and now it is asking me to enter the passphrase for the key which I'm extracting. So I'm going to give the passphrase and now I, over here if you see I have two files one is key file and one is pfx format. Uh, let me just clear the screen and show you again. Now what I'm going to use uh, do is I'm going to extract this key file without password because currently this key has a passphrase. Some to uh, some applications where you are going to use this might not support you to enter the key with the password or passphrase. Some does uh, support. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep the key without um, password also so for, for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the backup of this in a secure uh, so i'm moving this as a secure um, file name and now i'm going to use open ssl to extract the key without password for that i'm going to use open ssl rsa hyphen in and then i have to mention the name of this particular file and then I have to define the output of this so I would say just tech dot key and it is asking me for my passphrase and you see now I have three files available over here the one with the key the one without the key uh, I mean without the password and the one which is for my pfx now the next step is to generate the part, uh, public certificate uh, to extract the public certificate in other words. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use open SSL again and for that I'm giving it what type of uh, file I'm going to input over here. So I am going to say this tech.pfx which is this file. Um, I'm inserting pfx file and I'm going to get your uh, search hyphen no key this time I'm not ex extracting the key file I'm only going to extract the key and remember the first step we did we didn't extract the search so this time we are not extracting the key file from it and 
uh, I would just use this. Let me just see open SSL PKC S12 hyphen in mistake dot pfx which is my file name and then uh, clear search and uh, yeah so basically I have to type over here this tag this is just a certificate name you can keep it anything which you feel like so I am going to keep it simple and if you see now I have my cert which is a public key I have my key file uh, public certificate public uh, key of the certificate and the private key of the certificate uh, secure private key of the certificate and the pfx format of my certificate yeah. so this is pretty simple how you can extract uh, your key file cert file um, and key file without any passphrase from a pfx format Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you were looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.